If you are planning a trip to Tokyo Disney Sea, you have probably heard about the long lines, crowded spaces, and the challenge of making the most of your day. You can see what? You can see the sea. Where? Yeah, Tokyo Disney Sea, because it's inspired by the tales of the ocean. First tips. Arrive early. Aim to be at the gates at least one hour before opening. The earlier the better. So come early. Come maybe one hour or two hours early. My god, if not, you will just wait here for one hour. <laughs> Unfortunately, our late start meant we encounter massive queues and to make matters worse, it was raining. The second tip is to check the weather beforehand. Always check the weather forecast at accordingly. A poncho or small umbrella can be a lifesaver. Luckily, we brought an umbrella that sheltered us for the one-hour queue. Tokyo Disney Sea is home to some incredible attraction, but did you know there's a way to skip the long lines? The third tip is to download the Tokyo Disney Resort app in advance, utilize the system to reserve access to certain attractions, reducing waiting time significantly. This app allows us to view the park map and check the wait times. We listed a few rides that we wanted to try, including the very cool looking roller coaster, Raging Spirits, but could only reserve a time one hour later. So we started with the shortest queue time ride, the, the 20,000 leads under the sea. Hi! So, guys, we are going to the, play the first. Right, which is 20,000 leagues under the sea. Well, we picked this ride because it only takes 5 minutes to kill. So, yeah. We're all in to save big more time. The God King. The King of the Aliens. Fire in the water. And smoke. Nice. I bet the ride is going to be fun. Let's go! So we just play this poster. It's not so scary, la, honestly. <laughs> I shout out, okay? Yeah. Uh, we got the premium access. <laughs> Four tips use the premium access to save time. We booked the Tower of Terror with premium access using this Tokyo Disney Resort app. It is available for purchase and is separate from the regular park admission. The price is different for each attraction. We pay 1,500 yen for this. What? How do you feel about this ride? I don't know what to expect. Uh. Wait, I don't know. Da -da -da. Tower of Terror. My god guys, we just went to the Tower of Terror. <laughs> it is so fun! Oh my god, we fall down like three times. Oh. Yeah. That's the best experience man. When you feel your heart like flying up, Why up and down, right? Oh my like god. Dying. So enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> While Fantasy Spring officially opened from 6th of June, we visited in May and were able to reserve a spot via the app. It was very crowded and the rides had long wait times. We only managed to book the ride at Peter Pan's as the other attractions were just too crowded. But it is worth to visit and have a walk into this amazing fantasy spring park to see different Disney characters. So excited because this one is actually haven't launched yet, this ride. But we are going to see it! <laughs> Guys, we are in Arendelle. Yeah. If you want to build a snowman, yeah. <laughs> the kingdom of frozen. Hi guys. So you know how. The rides, right, are uh, not available after the 6th of June. Today is the 20th of May. So when we were here, you can actually book the ride. <laughs> because it's a hidden secret. It's, a, it's what the Japanese has 
I mean he's hiding from us. <laughs> Fifth tips. Try out the cruise. This offer different viewing points around Disney Sea and provide a nice break to relax. Six tips. Don't forget the shows. These are must-see events that add to the magic of your visit. Check the schedule on the app or website to plan the day around this performance. I just want to give a review on Disney Sea. Um, the difference between Disney Sea and Disneyland, right? Disneyland has a lot more focus on the characters. So Disney Sea kind of lacks in that. Um, because if you see there's a the centerpiece which is the mountain uh, they didn't really like emphasize on the character that much it's, it's all on the world building kind of thing but not on the characters i mean if you want to make a popular place you gotta focus on the characters right because the characters bring the kind of like the life into what they want to portray like you can be an aladdin right in agrabah because Look at that, it's beautiful right? But if you yourself can't really like imagine yourself being here, like what's the point? So that's why uh, Disney Sea actually come up with Fantasy Springs, right? That's a new place and it really emphasizes on the characters. There's character in the world, there's character on the, the like, what you call this, waterfalls or fountains I would say then um, there is like Elsa Frozen there's Olaf there's Rapunzel there's Peter Pan yeah that's where I think when they realize uh, their mistake for not putting in the characters first um, they created Fantasy Springs so thank god we went to Fantasy Springs and it is wonderful guys yeah. but look at this place yeah. So yeah, if you want to create a land, make sure you have a good character inside, someone, something people love, and you know, portray it, portray it in the, in the rides, you know, put them in the rides, put them where you want people to see them, because the characters actually bring a lot of life into. Uh, somewhat a lifeless place, right? The place can be beautiful, but if there's no character in it Like why, why, why are we even here, right? So yeah, Disney is all about its characters Characters that we, you know, after watching the movie, bought, uh, grow, grow to love Thank you, Tokyo Disney Sea